I'm going to bring out a father and a son to start with. A father and a son who both appeared in the show. Now, I want you to know that only the son is allowed to call this man daddy in the room, okay? It is, of course, will you welcome onto the stage Daniel Stewart and Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart. Go crazy. Yes. Great to see you, young man. How Good handsome. You, okay, okay. Dan, of course, you played your father's son in the series as well. Yep. That must be weird. How is it weird pretending to be his son when you actually are his son? It's almost as awful as actually being his son. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> What is the worst thing about him as a father that you can share with us? Uh, the beatings. Oh, no, come on. I'd just like to say also at this point, uh, my dad has been pursuing the, the ultimate prima donna, so he doesn't speak anymore. He just shows up. <laughs> so I'll be speaking for him and answering his questions. Well, first of all, though, before we go, uh, we will have some answers from you, sir. I would like <laughs> you to show everyone your glasses of the future that you're wearing around your neck here. Uh, And then, spec savers. Boom. I don't know whether you need to know this, but he fastens his pants in exactly the same way. Um, <laughs> They're called click, and you buy them online. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of comedy I know that happened behind the scenes when making Next Generation. Is it true whenever there was a crisis on the ship, you would actually throw yourself into Jonathan Frake's arms and scream? <laughs> Jonathan, it is absolutely true. I will demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not leaving. Not with me. No, I, my back hurts. Yeah. We would have something horrible would happen. Captain, Captain, the Ferenga out there on the screen. And I would leap into his arms. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. No, 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 no. no. You are a national treasure. I am not going to take it. a risk. Oh, on, you want it. And I would scream, we're all going to die. <laughs> Which is not exactly Captain Picard. But there is no record of this, but you have it on my word. I think if only someone had filmed that. These days, of course, that would be on YouTube somewhere. Of course, we've seen you back on screen. I don't know how many X-Men fans we have in here. We're not going to talk about that particularly. Of course. But we've seen you now uh, playing that role at different times in his life, and we've seen him, you know, traveling through time. Oh, no, that wasn't always me. Sometimes it was James McAvoy, yeah, he's such the a guy with all the hair. <laughs> he's so, I, I thought you grew the hair back for that part. Um, <laughs> oh, if, in my uh, dreams. If we could tempt you back on screen, if there was a, a suitable reboot of a certain next generation, would you do, uh, become Captain Jean-Luc Picard again for us? Well, it would have to be under certain strict conditions, wouldn't it? Such as I would have to have a potent love interest, and I am thinking Jennifer Lawrence. Wow, okay. <laughs> Do you have a problem with that? Jennifer Lawrence as, as the new crusher. Oh, shh, she's back there. Exactly. No, no. Your you can't out be out here saying you want Jennifer Lawrence when we have the original out okay. there. I take back everything I said. I am very happy with Dr. Crusher. Of course you are. <laughs> who well, who wouldn't isn't? be? But you never Sorry, really... Dan, did you ever get to enjoy Dr. Crusher in the way that so in many of us... We must speak euphemistically. There may be young people present, but did you ever get to know Dr. Crusher as fully as you and indeed we would have liked you to? You mean... In, <laughs> not in a friendly sense, but a carnal sense. We, you can be friendly as well as carnal, <laughs> I don't know. You can. Well, you can huh? try, you can yeah. fake it. Yeah. But <laughs> there is a rumor, uh, it's more than a little rumor, it's substantial, that Wesley Crusher was in fact yes. Jean-Luc son. Yes. Yeah, you knew how, that. How many people believe that? How many people not don't believe many. it, but want it to yeah. be true? Yeah. Yeah, because Wesley Crusher, i.e. otherwise known as Will Wheaton, yes. was, he was a Will wuss, Wheaton. he was a wuss, a wimp, you know, he was a nerd. He's not my son. He couldn't be your son. We've seen your son, he's enormous. Look, look at the size this, of him. He's magnificent. He looks like Shrek has been on steroids. Look at him. <laughs> he's incredible. What a specimen. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, you're here all weekend, of course. Yes, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, make sure you grab some time with Patrick this weekend. Make sure you actually enjoy uh, the time with him as much as we all have right, near, uh, right now. Patrick, we'll see you, I think, a bit later on. Patrick Stewart, ladies and gentlemen, and Will Wheaton. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Off you go. Catching Jean-Luc Picard. So good, isn't it?